Guys, welcome to Rock in the Heat. Check out that. Sun hits these just right. Magic. <laughs> I've got a sauce I'm going to review this morning from my good buddy Adam Johnson from Johnson's Sauce. I still think you should just call it Johnson Sauce. <laughs> Which is what I'm going to end up calling it for life anyways. <laughs> anyways, uh, so yeah, he's uh, here in Missoula making some, uh, making some sauces on the side here and there. And uh, this is uh, Peach Reaper. I've had, I've reviewed some sauce from him before. Uh, I think maybe on my old channel. I'm not actually positive if I've had anything from him on this channel. Um, but yeah. Uh, he's the one that I also got some pickled peppers from. So, all right, I'm I'm actually like super duper stoked for this one. So it's a peach reaper and ghost, and um, sorry, got a message, got a little distracted. Message about some big plans. All right, so this is a peach reaper ghost sauce, and he used honey and molasses in it, and the uh, might be a little hard to tell. Here, let me, yeah, I'll spin it this way. So as I spin it this way, you'll be able to see the bubble move. Well, not really see it move, but you'll see how it clings to the wall. It's just got this creaminess to it, even though he does. He said he didn't use any oil in it. So it's just the honey and molasses mostly and, and a really good puree. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm super stoked to get into this, guys. Um, I've been hyping it up in my mind as a sauce that I hope is killer. Because uh, he has a he has a red sauce, and then I feel like should be one of his staples. I, I can't remember what's in it, but uh, it wasn't very hot. It was just super tasty. Um, I, I'm hoping this is super duper tasty. I'm just I'm all for. Uh, encouragement when it comes to like people making their own sauces and stuff um, like it just I, I it's awesome to see when someone creates something else else really awesome <laughs> so let's get into this got my chase the heat mother of pearl tasting spoon guys oh that's upside down you can get that at uh, johnnyscoville.com or bla uh, deathnuts.com from the Blazing Foods website. Uh, I got links down below. Let's give this a whiff. I don't know the ingredients other than uh, peach, reaper, ghost, honey, molasses. doesn't have like a super powerful smell. The whiffer's not the best in the morning though. All right, let's get into it. Let's see if I can get a good, good pour for you guys. I think if I angle it like this, you can actually see it come out right out the spout. Oh, look at that. You guys can't see it as good as I can. Oh man, it's got such a good puree. It's so creamy smooth, it looks. It stands up on the spoon a bit. Yeah, not gonna focus, but you can see it standing up on the spoon a little bit there. All right guys, Peach Reaper Ghost from my buddy Adam Johnson at Johnson's Sauce. Okay, let's try a little more.
Okay. It's pretty sweet, obviously, with the honey, peaches, and uh, molasses in there. Um, it is very smooth. Put it on your tongue, and you just squeeze, and it just coats your whole mouth with this smooth texture. I need some more. I'm a big fan of high pureed sauces. Um, for some reason. I thought I liked chunky more, but as I get into making sauces and tasting sauces, I'm finding that I like the the real creamy, smoother sauces uh, best. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, okay, so. I tasted the peach a little bit better that time. First, first, uh, first couple spoons, you know, my palate was completely cleansed, and so I don't know if you guys have figured out or found out that sometimes you're if you've been drinking water for a while and your palate is like 100% plant cleanse sort of thing um, and you taste something hot you kind of get a weird reaction initially like whether it's a extra sour note or something so kind of you kind of got to let your saliva build and, and let uh, <laughs> let things settle from being like jolted from the first taste so uh, I'm gonna taste a little bit more, and I should taste the peaches a little bit better yet, even in this taste, I'm guessing. Yep. And I taste the peaches better if I let the sauce sit on like kind of the back sides of my tongue uh, for a little bit. Man, this is great. If there's like onion and garlic in here, which I don't know, um, it's not overpowering for sure. Uh, the heat, I, if I took a few more spoonfuls, like good spoonfuls, um, I think I would be at it, I would call it a solid, oh, I've got a bug in my face. Um, got a couple birds on my face. Ah, get off. Uh, <laughs> I think I would, I, I'd be at like a two, two or three. Hmm. Yeah, let's try a little more guys. I don't know why, but this is the type of sauce, I want this in a big squeeze bottle. I don't know why. Just want to be able to pop the top and squirt her on something. Oh man, this is great, Adam. This is really good stuff. Um, I think uh, I think I didn't overhype it myself. It is like equally as hyped as I thought it was going to be in my own head. <laughs> that is. Fantastic on ice cream. Probably fantastic on cheesecake. Um, it would probably be good, something I've not thought of, but like strawberry shortcake, except x nay on the off berry stray. <laughs> and uh, just use this. That would be good, for sure. It's not got a tangy note. The vinegar's not overpowering in it. So it doesn't have like a weird vinegary note, which would, which sometimes clashes with dessert stuff. So anyways, so this was a Peach Ghost Reaper from my buddy Adam at, at uh, Johnson's Sauce. Uh, he does have a phone number on here. I'm not sure if you guys spotted it already, but uh, I'll ask him if it's okay to include in the description. Uh, otherwise, if I, if I don't hear back from him by the time this posts, uh, I'll just have a link to his Instagram and his uh, Facebook down in the description where you can go uh, chat him up and see if he's going to be making any more sauces and stuff and see what he has available because 
he does some pretty small batch stuff so uh, I'm sure if uh, if something sounds interesting from him that I review and uh, and you're curious about it uh, feel free to hit him up and he'll let you know if uh, he can get something in the works so all right guys I uh, hope you have a great morning uh, my morning's gonna go great that's for sure uh, hump day we'll get through it and uh, oh hey for those of you sticking around to the end since I, I might not make another video today something you'll have to look forward that's coming for me to try that you can see me sweat over and maybe see some pain uh, before I leave camping I'm placing an order with uh, Sergeant Dunn from uh, Dunn's Jerky Sergeant Dunn's Jerky and uh, yeah so I decided what what triggered that is I saw he had the limited uh, 20 quantity batch of like super hot challenge jerky chunks um, so I was like yeah why not so I hit him up said it asked if he had any available still and he did so I went ahead and got one of those and I got some of the sergeant Dunn's uh, original jerky and I also got some of the uh, special forces so I'm kind of gonna be able to see the extremes um, I want to taste his original because uh, sometimes I don't like my jerky being crazy hot I just want awesome jerky flavor and I tell you what guys I'm pretty picky when it comes to the texture of the jerky a lot of people like really soft jerky I prefer my jerky a little drier um, so a lot of times I leave my bags open and let the jerky like dry out till it's kind of crispy a little bit um, that's the way I like it it's the way I grew up with it um, so that's just the way I think I, I prefer it and always will. Um, one thing I've been missing that we've talked about recently, or that I talked about recently in the burn session with some guys, is uh, venison jerky, deer jerky. Oh my gosh, that's what I grew up with, and I really miss it. All right, guys, rock on. Have a great Wednesday.